In today's show, I'm going to talk about exporting your Power Apps data over to a CSV file that you can use in Excel, thanks to our little friend Power Automate, aka Flow. So nothing too exciting, but it was just one of those concepts I want to explore a little bit about sending collections of data from Power Apps over to Flow, and then once you've got it there, parse it, and then you can do whatever you want with it, which is really the whole idea of this video. But first, here's our intro. Hi, my name is Shane Young with Power Apps 911. Those guys. In today's show, we're going to talk about exporting a file to CSV. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with some Power Apps data. We're going to go into our gallery. We're going to select the different records we want. And we're going to press a button and boop, we're going to magically get a CSV file. But really what we're going to concentrate on, because that's not always the most exciting scenario, but I want to really concentrate on just the mechanics of it all, right? So how do we get the data over in Power Apps selected? and then exported so we can send a collection of data over to our friend Flow. And then once the collection's in Flow, how do we work with it? Because now that you've got a collection of data in Flow, you can spit on a CSV file, you can make your own Excel file, you can make an HTML table, you could import it into SQL. I don't care what you do with it, but really what I want to just concentrate on is that mechanics of getting the data over there. And the byproduct is a pretty popular topic, which is exporting a CSV. So, sounds like a lot of fun to me. Let's switch over to my desktop and take a look. Okay, so over here on my desktop, here's the quick little app that I threw together. One of our galleries, you've probably seen this one once or twice before. And I just made it so we could select the different records. Boop. So there you go, we got four records. And then when I say export to CSV, this is going to fire off a flow. And after a couple moments, we should be able to go over here and we should see there's our file. I'll click on the file. And boom, there you go. We've got our four records exported into CSV. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to build that. We're going to have a little fun. But remember, really what I want to talk about is the mechanics of this because that's, I think, the big win for you guys here. So let's go back over and let's look at our Power App real quick. So to populate this gallery, it is using a collection called Employees. And so if you look here, all I'm doing is taking my normal SharePoint list called Employees and I'm putting it into a collection and I'm adding a column called is chosen and I'm setting it to false. And so then if you look at my little check boxes here, you know, if I uncheck, I am just taking is chosen and setting it to false. And if I check, it is setting is chosen to true. And so I covered that in great gory detail in the for all video. Um, so I'll put a link to that somewhere around here, down there, up there, somewhere that will, if you want to go back and watch that because you're like, Whoa, I've never seen that. But my assumption is you've kind of already seen that video and you're great. I know how to select records. So then what we do is once we've selected records, we need to send those over to Flow, right? We want to send a collection of Flow because that's, that's the fun here. And so to do that, it's a multi-step process. So you can see here that the first thing I'm going to do is I need to drop some um, columns. And so the reason for that is that in order to send a collection from Power Apps to Flow, you have to use the uh, JSON function to get it in the right format. And the JSON function does not like record um, columns. So in this case where I was using SharePoint, I have all those record fields like face, author, created by, editor, all that stuff. Um, all of those fields, they were breaking the JSON. So I had to drop those out. Now, this video doesn't have to be about SharePoint though. You could be exporting from SQL or CDS. So just keep in mind that you might have to shape the data a little bit um, to make sure that it has the right pieces and that it's not getting overwhelmed. So in my case, I had to drop some columns and these were all my record columns, right? And the easy way to tell they're record columns, you click on collect employees, author is record, editor is record, right? So face is an image column, favorite color is a record. So those were the ones that I figured out I had to drop. Okay, so that's the first piece. I drop all those. Secondly, then I run, um, I just create another variable called for, var format JSON. And all it is doing is it's using the JSON function, which we've covered in several videos. And it is putting it into the ident for um, format. And the nice thing about that, well, it doesn't preview well here, but it puts it in the nice little like tabbed out format when it sends it over. 
We had some debate. I got it to work without it one time. I was required another time. So I'm just going to go ahead and say it's included and you should always put it here. But I don't think you actually have to have this, but it made it easier for me. And then we send the data to flow. So on the flow side, what are we going to do? Well, instead of just walking you through the flow side, I want to I want to actually build the whole flow with you guys. So instead of that's what we're about to build. Shh. What we're going to do is we're going to build our own. So I'm over here to flow. I'm going to say new. And then I'm going to say I want to do an instant. And then we'll call this uh, video export to CSV like that. And then we will say power apps is our trigger and say create. Now, keep in mind, remember, if you are a uh, curated subscriber, you can download this video and you can also then download these files so that we don't have to rebuild all this yourself. But if you're not, no worries. I'm going to show you how to do it all. So first thing you need to do. So when you're trying to send the data over um, from a collection, you have to figure out the format before we can actually use it. So what we will do is we put a compose action right here, boop, just like that. And so then for the compose action, we're going to say, I want to ask in Power Apps. And so then it's going to ask for the compose inputs. And believe it or not, at this point, you actually need to stop because what we're going to do is we're going to use this to figure out the next part of the puzzle. So you say save. Okay, and so now that is saved, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to our flow. And what do we name that? We named it video export to CSV. And we're going to add a new button. So we'll insert a button. We'll pull it down here. And so what we're going to do here in this button is we're going to say, all right, I need to add that flow. So actions and then power automate. And somewhere in this hot mess, and it is a hot mess, video export to CSV. I have a lot of these. <laughs> we'll pull this over. And so then it's going to say, hey, I've got one input that I want. There it is. And so then what we want to do is we're going to just pass all of this stuff, right? So I'm just going to copy these two lines out. And then we're going to put in var formatted JSON because we know that that's the Power App side of getting all the data ready, but we don't want to go through all that. So we're just going to boop, take advantage of it just like that. Okay. So then now if I press this button, so I'm going to hold on the Alt key, press the button, it's sending the data over. And so in my flow here, if we look, it succeeded. Shoo. I'm going to click on the succeeded flow. And the reason we did this, A, I like baby steps. But more important than me liking my baby steps is that you need this output. So I'm going to put my cursor right here. I'm going to say Control A and Control C to copy it because now we're going to edit the flow. And now, you know, that's just really a big old text string. So what we want to do is we need to parse that JSON. So we're going to type in the word parse and parse JSON. And for the content section, we're just going to use the compose output. Easy enough. And then for the schema, we're going to say generate from sample. We're going to paste in all that craziness. This is the reason we had to do that test run. But then at this point, Flow just figures out all that. So if you're like, Shane, what's JSON and how do I understand? And I don't know, who cares? It did it all, right? It's happy now. So then now we can say save. And then we'll do another test. But this time we don't have to go back to Power Apps. We can just test from here. And so we should see, oh, look at that. It outputted it as actual fields that we can use. Woohoo! So now we're in business. Now we have a proper table, if you will, or an array over in Flow, and you can do whatever you want with it. So I think I promised you guys we were going to, um, you know, turn it into a CSV file, but you can do a, do as you see fit. So let's do this. Let's say edit again. So now that we've got the data over here. We're going to say new step, and so then I'm going to type in CSV. Create CSV table right there in the middle. Who knew? And so the from, this is a little trickier. I Oh, I did not mean to do that. Sorry, let's delete that. And let's delete that. And delete that as well. So we're just going to delete everything. We're not going to mess that up. Whoop. All right, so we'll do this again. New step, CSV, create a CSV table. And so what I was trying to do is scroll down and over for you. So what you're looking for is in, from your parse JSON action, you do not want one of these specific fields necessarily, but it's important to note they're here. So you could build a solution piece by piece, but in the, the, our case, because we're trying to export uh, CSV, we want the whole thing. So we're going to take the body. So you say body, 
and then you don't get a pot each. So you know you got the right fuel when you don't get a pot each. Under show advanced uh, pieces here, you can see it creates its own columns, so it's gonna figure it out. Good job, Flow. And then last but not least, we're gonna go in here and we're going to uh, type in create file. And so look, I can create a file in OneDrive for Business. I can create a file in SharePoint. I don't care where you do it. So I was just create it in SharePoint. I created the uh, last time in OneDrive. So create it in SharePoint, so create file. And then it asked me where. I'm gonna choose my Power Apps videos. And then what folder do I want, which means what document library. I want the one called Documents. And then we're gonna call it demo.csv. And then for the file content, from the create CSV table uh, action here, you just take the output, and I'll do it. So then now we're gonna hit save. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna break something here. I'm gonna break it on purpose because you guys run into this all the time. You never know what it is. So you're like, all right, cool, let's do a test. So you go up here, you say test. Oh yeah, just use that again, do this. And so then this test is gonna run, and then it says flow run failed. And you're like, what happened? You get real angry. You know how I know you get real angry? Because I get real angry when this happens. And it says, hey, I can't find the SharePoint connector. You're like, no, you idiot. You know SharePoint's there. <sighs> what is it? So what it is, is that when you did the run, when you connected it to Power Apps, you had not made the SharePoint connection. So it doesn't know how to associate that Power Apps data with a data set that has the SharePoint connection. It gets real wompy. All you gotta do, this is the beauty of this. Go back over here. Well, not all. I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna copy all this, Control C. I'm gonna click on data sources and we're going to say video export at CSV. No, thank you. We're gonna remove the flow that we just added. Remove. And so the button's mad, fair enough. So now we're gonna add it back. We're going to scroll to the bottom and hope it's still at the bottom. There it is. We're going to put this in. When we add it, the whole reason I copied the code, watch this, it's going to get rid of my code in here just a second. Ah, no problem. Delete that out. Paste it in. So everything's exactly the same, but because we deleted the data connection and reinitialized it, it went ahead and sank, sunk back up. So then now if we hit play and we got our four done here, we'll hit button again. This sends the data over. We'll go back to the run history. The one we just did is running. It succeeded, nice job. And we can go in here and see everything is happy. And so then now at this point, if you were to continue to edit, you could test. But so the key was that if you add a new data connection like we did, anytime you add a new data connection, you've gotta go over to Power Apps and start the cycle over again. Now let's just go back out to SharePoint real quick. Okay, so out here under documents, and we should have our lovely little CSV file. Oh man, you know what? I put the file in the wrong location. Meh! Flow is hard. Let's go back over here. Let's edit our flow again. I meant to create the file not in documents, but in shared documents. Let's try this again. There you go. So the beauty of it is, is all I, can, all I have to do is rerun my test now, right? Because I can run the test over and over again uh, because, you know, we got everything sunk back up. So let that finish real quick. Okay, so now we'll go back over here. And then now in here we should see, if we do a refresh, there's our demo CSV. Now if we click on the file, there's our data. Man, who doesn't enjoy putting a file in the wrong spot? Not me. Okay, but that is honestly it, right? We've done and done all these things. So. If you wanted at this point, you could email that, a link for that file off. You could send that file in an attachment. You could send a link back to Power Apps with that. You could, you know, the world is your oyster at this point. If you get this, you've mechanically got what you need. You know, because we won't go all the way here, but let's just do one more little thing. So then remember also though, if you go down here, like, all right, well, that was great, but what I really want to do is go create something in like a, a SharePoint list. So you might say, all right, I want to create an item and so we could say create an item, we would choose our SharePoint site, you know, back over here, maybe it's a different um, Power Apps videos, it's a different employees list, but we'll just use the same one just to make our lives easy. So when you choose the list, when you go for title here, if you go over to the right and then kind of down here, if you grab out of the parse JSON, remember, there's the title field we sent over in the collection, 
If you choose this, I just want to remind you guys what happens. So let's choose title. All right, all of a sudden, then you get the apply to each, right? Why do we get the apply to each? Because the uh, parse JSON action, that's a table of data. And so this is saying, hey, for every record that comes back, so I think we sent over four records, right? For every record that we send over, do uh, create a new item and use the title as the title. So not a big deal, um, but you know, between those two things, now either you can use the whole table to create a CSV, or you can piece by piece do this and apply to each, it's automatically gonna go to push your data in here. You guys have got your SharePoint collection, or your Power Apps collection data into a flow. Yeah! All right, so hopefully that helps you guys. Hopefully you enjoy that. Uh, you know, you kind of walk through, understand mechanically how all those pieces work because there's a lot going on there that it took to make this simple little demo. But this comes up enough that I thought you guys would enjoy it. Um, as always, if you got any ideas on future videos, you got comments or questions about this, leave them below. I respond to all the comments. It, sometimes it takes me a week, but I get them all in there. Um, also, remember to check out our training resources. I'm diligently working on uh, re-recording our big class right now. So that's our uh, Power Apps and Flow for App Builders. This demo is just a small subset of a larger section in there. So I just kind of pulled this out for you guys because I'm a nice guy, but you know, the bigger class has more details, more fun, this in full fidelity. So, whoo. All right. I think with that, I'm going to say thanks and have a great day.